We will now begin the press briefing by Minister Hayashi. Uh, first of all, today, uh, March 11th, marks the 11th year of the Great East uh, uh, Japan earthquake. We would like to take this opportunity to offer our prayers to the victims of the uh, Great East Japan earthquake and uh, offer sympathy to the, uh, the bereaved families as well as the people affected uh, by the earthquake. Furthermore, I would like to express uh, our heartfelt gratitude to the support and encouragement we have received uh, from all over overseas countries. Although 11 years have passed uh, after the Great East Japan earthquake, the most important challenge for uh, gov the government is still to eliminate uh, damage caused by rumors and uh, import restrictions on the Japan uh, food uh, uh, products. Um, against the backdrop of a strong determination that uh, Japan's uh, revitalization cannot be uh, realized uh, in absence to reconstruction of Tohoku, we will utilize opportunities such as uh, foreign um, minister talks as well as maximum utilization of networks established by diplomatic establishment abroad and uh, other means uh, to communicate uh, the measures uh, to ensure uh, the safety of uh, Japanese food products. Next, the Russian troops continue their fierce attack in the Ukraines and they have attacked schools, hospitals, and homes. And many civilians have been killed or injured. More than two million Ukrainians have evacuated to third countries. We are seriously concerned about this current situation. And today the Japanese government has made the decision to provide emergency humanitarian aid to people affected in the Ukraine as well as uh, those evacuating in neighboring countries. This is to realize the $100 million of emergency humanita humanitarian aid announced by Prime Minister Kishida on the 27th of last month. Based on the request by the United Nations, upon coordination with international organizations on site as well as Japanese NGOs, humanitarian aid in urgent areas such as Temporary evacuation facilities, health, medicine, water, sanitation, food, and child protection will be provided. The hearts of the Japanese government and the Japanese people are with the Ukraines. Japan will continue to cooperate with the G7 and the international society to provide the necessary support to the Ukrainian people. Uh, today, uh, during the cabinet meeting, announcement has been made for the 2021 White Paper on the Development Coordination. Uh, this uh, White Paper uh, provides uh, information regarding the past uh, one-year activities uh, in terms of uh, development uh, cooperation. In the first part of the, the beginning, uh, special information was provided uh, on the COVID-19 measure support, including uh, COVAX uh, Vaccine uh, Summit, uh, Tokyo Nutrition uh, Summit, uh, supply of uh, vaccine and the improvement uh, measures uh, of the cold chain. Through this uh, white uh, paper, we hope to gain support of people for uh, development uh, uh, coordination so that uh, we can uh, continue to make uh, proactive efforts uh, in development cooperation and global scale challenges uh, um, in the global community going forward. Now we'd like to entertain questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand. And when you are called upon, come to the microphone and state your name and affiliation. Tanaka-san, Gigi Tsushin. Tanaka from Gigi Tsushin concerning uh, North Korea. Now, North Korea recently, there have been two ballistic missiles uh, that uh, were evaluated, and North Korea has been continuing with ICBM, has been freezing IBCM and also nuclear experiments, but they are resuming. So, in terms of the resumption of nuclear weapons, are there any concerns, and what is the recognition? Now, uh, the Ministry of Defense as well as the U.S. government has announced on February 27th as well as on March 5th that North Korea has launched ballistic missiles. And we have clo uh, closely collaborated with the U.S. government and carried out analysis. And as a result of that, uh, we, we have come to the conclusion that they are a new type of CBM level of ballistic missile, missiles. And before they carry out the launch test at uh, the longest distance. I, we believe that the purpose was to uh, uh, validate the function. So there is such a possibility. 
and inclusive of the launching of missile, um, ballistic missiles like this, which will raise the tension, these kind of uh, activities by North Korea would threaten the safety and uh, security of international society as well as our country and region, and this cannot be tolerated. And this violates the Security Council resolution, and this goes against the international society, so we strongly criticize this. Going forward together with diplom uh, not only diplomacy but sanctions as well, we would like to collaborate with U.S. and South Korea in order to take the necessary measures. Thank you. Next question, please. Niigata Nippon, Endo-san, please. Niigata Nippon, my name is Endo. Uh, I would like to uh, ask a question regarding uh, the uh, the Sado uh, Island uh, uh, gold mine uh, because of the new uh, uh, government. Um, there have been criticism from ROK. How are you going to deal uh, with the ROK going forward uh, on this matter? And now uh, that the uh, government will change to uh, conservative, uh, what is going to be the impact uh, on the registration for the um, um, going forward? Uh, regarding uh, the the president uh, Yon Suk Yeol um, has uh, been elected for the president elect. We have made uh, a congratulatory message from uh, the prime minister as well as myself, and uh, uh, there was also a telephone call uh, between uh, uh, Prime Minister Kishida and uh, President Elect uh, Yon. Uh, as uh, the uh, global uh, undergoes change, uh, it is uh, very important to uh, implement uh, the rule-based uh, uh, relationship. This is very important for the region as well. Uh, and uh, Japan, um, um, ROK, uh, and the U.S. relationship is very important. Uh, ever since uh, the uh, diplomatic relations have been restored in 1965, uh, there was a need uh, to uh, develop uh, Japan as well as uh, ROK relations. We have high expectations uh, for the new president-elect. And uh, in order to improve the relations between Japan and Korea, uh, we stand ready to uh, work uh, with the new president-elect. Regarding uh, Sado Island, as we have uh, uh, made uh, before uh, th uh, in terms of comments uh, that uh, we appreciate the value of uh, the Sado Island uh, gold mine. Uh, we hope that uh, this will be evaluated uh, by UNESCO accordingly. Uh, therefore, we will engage uh, in uh, cool-headed uh, discussions uh, with other countries such as uh, Korea and uh, uh, we will be uh, considering this matter under the task force uh, uh, for the registration as a World Heritage established on 1st uh, of February. Uh, with uh, President-elect uh, Yun, uh, we hope to engage uh, in constructive discussions going forward. No matter, some please. Uh, no matter from Asahi newspaper. Now, this is related to the first question concerning North Korea, the launch of the missile. Kim Jong-un, in January this year, with the resumption of ICBM, has also been indicating that they, he will be resuming nuclear experiments, nuclear weapons as well. So nuclear experiments, uh, there are trends that this may be resumed. So the Japanese government, uh, do you have that kind of information? I would like to confirm. And also, what is your analysis of the movement of North Korea going forward? Now, North Korea's intent, uh, Japan would not be we would like to refrain from providing you with a uh, determinate answer. In, until now, in January 2021, at their uh, party congress, they have been mentioning the promotion of ICBM-related business. So uh, we believe that their position in uh, prolonging the distance of the uh, launch of the ballistic missiles remains unchanged. But in any case, inclusive of the launch of the ballistic missiles, which will make, which will increase the tension. This, uh, these kind of activities by North Korea will threaten our country, region, and international society's uh, peace and security. So we cannot uh, tolerate this. As the Japanese government, we will have close collaborations with the Japan, U.S., and Japan, U.S., South Korea, and uh, collaborate with the uh, international society so that uh, we can aim at complete non-nucleation. You may be other side, please. This is Abel of uh, Yomiri Shimpen. Uh, yesterday, uh, Russia 
uh, official said uh, uh, that uh, uh, there was a lunch air uh, uh, drill uh, that was made. It was an announcement uh, made yesterday. Uh, U.S. Uh, and Japan are uh, stepping up uh, uh, economic sanctions. Against this backdrop, uh, it is likely uh, that uh, Russia is trying to uh, check uh, this uh, uh, movement. Uh, what is uh, uh, your uh, view on this matter? Now, uh, regarding the announcement that has been made, um, I understand it was made by the Russian side. Uh, currently, we are trying to confirm the relevant facts at any rate uh, for the Northern Islands. The uh, Russia's uh, uh, movement uh, and uh, the, um, the decision made uh, uh, runs counter to uh, what we had agreed to. Uh, and regarding uh, the uh, Russian army's uh, uh, military activity uh, is uh, being subject to uh, observation, uh, and uh, we will continue to take measures. Kyoto Tsushin. Ogasara from Kyoto Tsushin. Concerning the people evacuating from Ukraine, as you have mentioned, there are more than 2 million people who have been evacuating. So. Well, the significance of the Japanese government uh, accepting these people and the international society concerning the receipt, what is the uh, role expected uh, to be played by Japan? And the Japanese government includes, I believe that you are coordinating the acceptance of these people, so can you update us on the current status? Now, as the government, the, the people evacuating to third countries from the Ukraines, we are promoting uh, the acceptance of these people into our country. And currently in Japan, the Ukrainians who have resident status, there are about 1,900 people. And uh, first, we will start with their relatives and acquaintances. But not only that, uh, we will take measures from a humanitarian pr uh, perspective. And in terms of the procedure, those with relatives and acquaintances in Japan, short-term visas will be issued so that they will be able to enter the country. And those who don't have relatives or acquaintances in Japan, we will make uh, individual judgments based on the necessity of, of humanitarian consideration. And if it is deemed that it will be necessary, then uh, in principle, short-term visas will be issued and they will be able to enter the country. And uh, those people, based on the situation of these people who have come to Japan, uh, further from a humanitarian perspective, what kind of measures need to be taken as the entire government, we will speedily take measures. We will take uh, one last question before we close. My name is Sugimoto. For China, uh, in the Osaka uh, Consul uh, General, uh, I have a question uh, regarding uh, the comment that made. Uh, he's, um Consul General Sir uh, John uh, said uh, that uh, Japan should learn uh, the weak uh, should not uh, pick a fight uh, with the strong. That was a comment made uh, by uh, the Consul General. Uh, do you think this is uh, akin to an uh, undesirable person by making such a comment? What is the view of uh, Mofa? Uh, regarding uh, the postings made by individuals, uh, we will not uh, make uh, uh, a comment. At any rate, the invasion of uh, um, uh, Ukraine by uh, Russia uh, is uh, uh, calling for uh, solidarity amongst the international community to deal with this uh, crisis. That is all. Thank you.